It was huge news in the tech world. Yahoo, the internet giant whose star has dimmed in recent years, spending more than a billion dollars to buy Tumblr, the hip multimedia platform for bloggers launched by 26-year-old David Karp, a major league gamble for Yahoo CEO Marissa Mayer. But can Yahoo make this work without spoiling the freewheeling spirit that has made Tumblr so popular? Oh, the old creepy guy has a billion dollars. In the official press release announcing the billion dollar acquisition of Tumblr, she vowed not to screw it up. Why'd she say that? Because she better not. Yahoo is in a state of emergency right now. Everyone can act like they're okay, but really they're not. The name Tumblr probably rings a bell for you, and that to no surprise. It used to be one of the biggest social media platforms on the internet, housing thousands of communities and millions of users. It being so popular that our favorite search engine Yahoo purchased the website in 2013 for a costly 1 billion US dollars, taking a massive risk. But as you probably expected, this didn't go too well. Because when the WordPress CEO bought the company in 2020, its value had dropped from the original 1.1 billion to a mere 3 million US dollars, a decrease of 97%. So, how did all of this happen? How did a social media giant competing with platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and even YouTube in its prime turn into a ruin of its former self? To understand a Tumblr rise of fame, we must go back to the distant year of 2006. Google acquires the video sharing platform YouTube for $1.65 billion. The International Astronomical Union decides to downgrade Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, and a young David Karp has an idea. While working at a software consulting company, Karp develops an interest in short form blogs. He dubs them Tumble Logs. After waiting years for sites to implement the feature to no avail, Karp decides to develop his own platform with his colleague Marco Armand. For me, it was really about uh, you know something that I wanted to be able to make on the internet that I couldn't make, the tools just weren't there for. And so uh, I made Tumblr for myself first, actually very selfishly. It started as my blog. Before it was ever called Tumblr, it was just davidslog.com. I, I had that domain name well before I had tumblr.com. And uh, at some point it clicked for me. I, I said, um, you know, this is something that there might be a few other people out there uh, who'd be excited to, to use a tool like this. One year later, he launches the website Tumblr with a rather impressive response receiving about 75,000 users in the first two weeks. However, it will take a while for it to truly take off. Fast forward to the year of 2011. By this point, Tumblr is valued at $800 million. And by 2012, it was once the top 10 most trafficked websites in the US and 47th in the world. How did it get so massive? Blogging was a big thing back in the mid-2000s. Like, big, big. In January of 2005, a study was released saying that a whopping 32 million Americans read blogs. A huge amount, especially considering the year. They were the way to broadcast your thoughts and feelings to a bigger audience, but Tumblr brought something new to the table. It managed to make it a more simplified, personal, and most importantly, a social experience. As an article from 2011 reads, Blogs have become an integral part of online culture. Practically everyone reads blogs now, whether they're official news blogs associated with traditional news media, topic-based blogs related to one's work or hobbies, or blogs purely for entertainment. Just about anyone you ask has at least one favorite blog. And with this rapid increase in popularity, another element of the blogging experience started to arise. NSFW blogs. Due to Tumblr's heavy focus on imagery and a massive art community, the rise of adult content was inevitable. Tumblr was the most mainstream way to share that media. Facebook lacked anonymity. Twitter was too wordy and wasn't focused enough on images, making Tumblr the go-to website for sharing consumption of mature content. Tumblr arguably peaked in 2013, when Yahoo acquired the platform for $1.1 billion. This sent ripples throughout the community. Many users were concerned about this purchase and their new tech overlords, but the Yahoo CEO assured them that they would not screw it up. Text flashing foreshadowing. The company was hoping to paint some users in the young demographic, and most importantly, getting access to billions of users' sweet and precious data. Tumblr's user base cultivated the community was very open minded, and many users saw Tumblr as a safe space, a refuge for content that would be deemed unacceptable on other platforms. It was simply a place for them to be themselves. Tumblr still managed to maintain a lively community, even though it was struggling to keep up with other social media giants. The platform continued on a stable path until, out of nowhere, disaster struck. 
Apple decided to remove Tumblr from the App Store after pornographic content involving minors was found on the website. Developing filters to remove the media would be too difficult to set up in a short period of time, so the owner of Tumblr was faced with a difficult decision. Banning pornographic content altogether, risking the departure of only a small group of the flourishing communities, or staying banned from the biggest app marketplace in the world, which would be detrimental to the platform, or just to be able to keep free inflation fetish content on their site. As you may have thought, the decision was not too hard to make. The community was outraged. Last month, Apple banned Tumblr's iOS app from the App Store after reports of child pornography on the platform. Then, a few weeks ago, Tumblr announced that it would be banning all adult content in order to create a better, more positive Tumblr. Just found out that Tumblr is banning all adult content content. Adult content will not be allowed on Tumblr regardless of how old you are. Guess what, Tumblr? The only reason 20 to 30 percent of your fan base, including me, even comes to Tumblr is for adult content. So let me get this straight. Tumblr is banning all adult material on December 17th. Tumblr is the porn place. Tumblr's not going to have any porn on it. What? It's terrible for everything else. What's the point of it without without the porn? What's the point of it without the adult material? They're no longer going to show female presenting nipples on a Tumblr.com. So I want to know who the f- thought that was a good idea. It, it's a terrible platform. Just terrible. Bullshit. It, what? what it, it, okay, okay, guys. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and who the fuck greenlit that? Because that's where I get my titty fix. It's tumblr.org.com. So guess what, Tumblr? You played you yourself. Played yourself. As a result of those new guidelines being put in place, Tumblr users decided to protest the regulations by logging off and going outside for once in their lifetimes. A post made back when the changes were announced details. (coughs) Right, let me read it now. How much is this? I'll take out my retainer. Actually, no, can't bother. For everyone's information, the plan for the 17th, when the adult content ban comes in, is to protest. To do that, on the 17th, dead silence. People are saying log off, but what they really mean is don't open the site or the app. But on the 17th, make as much noise as possible on every other platform. Tweet about it and post on Facebook and Instagram and everywhere else. What this does is causes a massive dip in ad revenue for one single day. That does not make staff think, oh, everyone's gone, let's shut it down. What it actually makes them is think, oh shit, people aren't happy and if people don't keep using our site, we're out of money and out of jobs. Flood the official Tumblr staff Twitter and Facebook with your anger and your opinion. Come back on the 18th and check in. Shutting down the site means there's no further income from it. That's their last possible course of action. If we make it clear we're not happy, they'll have to do something or we can do more and more until it becomes too expensive. They will try to scare you into not participating because they're scared. We hold all the power here. I feel like shit in my... This post received a whopping 200,000 reblogs and resonated with the community. They were determined to hashtag protest in order for the porn to be brought back. But this was met with no avail and the platform was set on keeping their newly implemented guidelines. There are no shortage of sites on the internet that feature adult content. We will leave it to them and focus our efforts on creating the most welcoming environment possible for our community. The management had severely underestimated how much NSW content there really was on the site. According to user statistics, 52% of members were exposed to pornographic content before, while every fifth was regularly consuming it. When you compare this to another Yahoo-owned IP, Flickr, this is double the amount of them. Some people migrated to Twitter, others to the much smaller competitor Pillarfog, and many flocked to not safe for work focused sites entirely. But something was sure. Tumblr alienated a massive part of the audience, losing over 34% of activity, which would decrease even further in the following months, when the WordPress CEO bought the company in 2020 
Its value had dropped from the original 1.1 billion to a mere 3 million US dollars, a decrease of 97%. Tumblr was once a giant in the social media space, and what caused this giant to fall was probably one of the most unexpected reasons that you could think of. The glory days of Tumblr will never return, and the community stays scattered throughout many different platforms. But at least now we don't have to be involuntarily exposed to fur inflation porn while trying to research a school project. This is Jay Contrary, signing off.